Not at all. Oh. Hey boss, can you turn the car off for me? You hop out real quick. What's going on? What do you mean? What's going on? So good. Here, come, come over here real quick. Tony, what's going on? Here. Let's come over here, alright? I'll have you sit by my car. 26 in the car, 20 or 21. Here, I'm, you're not, you're not in trouble. I just need you to sit over here real quick. You're Tony, right? Yeah. Okay. Here, you, uh, you just come over here real quick. I just want to get you away from the car, okay? You hit something, Tony. Talk to my partner over there. Yeah. Here, come over here real quick. What's your name, sir? Tony. Tony what? Oh, oh. Hello? Uh, what do you mean? Where are you coming from today, Mr. Demachia? I'm good. Are you okay? Yeah. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Here, you want to come take a seat? I just want to get you out of the elements real quick, Mr. Demachia. You're not in trouble. I just, it's raining out here. I don't want you getting wet. You don't have any guns on you or nothing? Yeah. I'll take your word for it. How about that? Here. 28, John, William, Lincoln. I'll keep the door open if you yeah, want to take a seat. I won't close the door or nothing. I just don't want you getting wet or cold, okay? You need an ambulance or anything, Mr. Demachia? No. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Yep. I thought I, I made it. I got, we, we appreciate you, sir. Yeah, I'm just going to double check your cars and park, okay? I'll be right back.
Are you a diabetic, Mr. Demacchia? No, sir. Okay. I just want to make sure there's nothing medically wrong with you, okay? I'm not saying, I just want to make sure you're good, you know what I'm saying? Car 21. Car 21, go ahead. I'm heading to the West Area. Who's out there? 126 and 130. What's that, sir? No, tell me what right. I got you. We're just keeping you back here to keep you out of view of the public. Sergeant Orlovsky's going to come up. He's going to talk to you and figure this all out. I just don't want people staring at you and talking. You know what I'm saying?
Not much, just figured out who he was, got him back here just to get him out of view of the public. Um, what's that? I'm, I'm fine to do one. Okay. Fine with that? Yeah. Okay. Just explain it to him and... Okay. All right, Mr. DeMacchio, Los Palmas Marine Police Department. Based on what we got going on today, I'm concerned you're operating a vehicle under the influence. Okay, most likely with alcohol, possibly drugs, okay? Based on how I saw you in the car, the manner of the crash, having a hard time getting out, stumbling around, I want to make sure you're okay to drive, Mr. DeMacchio. I'm going to offer you some standardized field sobriety tests. Are you willing to take those today? No? No? Okay, Mr. DeMacchio, you're now under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence, okay? i got to have you step out of the car real quick. I'm not going to handcuff you, but i got to get your stuff out of your pockets, okay? Real quick, I'm just going to pat you down. i got to take you to our sally port, okay? Put your legs apart for me, sir. Legs apart for me, please. All right, Mr. DeMock, if you can take a seat. Where the hell's his wallet? Ah. Nope. Oh, okay. Very good. Um, I don't know what you want to do. If someone, if you could go get someone, come back and you could take the car. You don't have to park it. Where's his wallet? Yeah? Three within six or? He has one in 
five and one in twelve. Three, uh, two and ten, three and twenty. I, he's good there. Yeah. He's good there. Let me just eat this up real quick. <laughs> Let's pause this body camera video just for a second to thank Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring it. I mean, I think it's pretty clear from the body cameras we cover, it's not always safe out there. And when you're hurt, it can be pretty confusing and even scary if you don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan & Morgan is the largest injury law firm in America. And at a time when you already have a lot to think about, they make it super easy for you. They have completely modernized the process because you submit your claim, sign contracts, upload documents, and talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney will review your case in just eight clicks. Also, they have 4,000 support staff that can help you too, which is amazing to think about. And in terms of price, well, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured and want to join the over 3 million people that call them every year, you can submit a claim at www.forthepeople.com slash lcbodycam or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. Okay, let's get back to that body cam. Do you, do you have your wallet on you? No. Where, where is it at? In the, I looked in the car, I couldn't find it. My wife. Your wife has it? Okay. I got you. Sit tight one second, sir. Where? I think we do because the property OBI, so you have to do it. You do? Yeah. If you could get, uh, I guess their insurance, their building insurance or whatever, if they have it. He said that no damage. No damage onto that port, so Very good. He doesn't. He said that that's fine. Okay. No God, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So. The way she goes. I have the key to the. Yeah, she's yeah. coming back to she's get it. But, but, okay, I'm gonna grab the key real quick. When she comes back, see if you can get the insurance paperwork. Okay. Thank you. I just couldn't find it. I, I don't see his wallet in there. He says his wife has it. But, uh... All right, so we're going to release the car to your wife, so it's not going to be impounded or anything like that. We're just going to run to station. I'm going to give you the opportunity to take a breath test, and I'm going to release you to your wife, okay? All right. All right, sir. I'll give you your cell phone keys. We gave the uh, key fob of the truck to your wife so she could pick it up. What do you mean? So... So, so we didn't impound the truck. We gave the key fob to your wife so she could come get it. And we're going to have her come pick you up, okay? That's fine. Watch the, watch the lip there.
Okay, we take a seat there. I gotta read you. I gotta read you this form real quick. Uh, did you start out with yet? Ah, uh, yeah, twenty-two. I've got his uh, license. Oh, no, it's eight, ten minutes left. Yep. Copy. Read along after reading this to you, okay? So, consequences of test and refusal, okay, under revised code 4511192. Okay, you're now under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, a drug combination of them, operating a vehicle under the influence of a listed controlled substance, or a listed metabolite of a controlled substance, operating a vehicle after underage alcohol consumption, or having physical control of a vehicle while under the influence. Specifically, you're under arrest for operating vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Okay. You refuse to take any chemical test required by law. Your current driving privileges will be suspended immediately and you'll have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. You have a prior conviction of OVI or operating a vehicle while under the influence of a illicit controlled metabolite or substance or illicit metabolite of a controlled substance under state or municipal law within the preceding 20 years you're now under arrest for state OVI and if you refuse to take a chemical test uh, you will face increased penalties if you subsequently are convicted of the state OVI. Okay. You take any chemical test required by law and are found to be at or over the prohibited amount of alcohol, a controlled substance, or a metabolite of a controlled substance in your whole blood, blood serum, plasma, breath, or urine is set by law. Your Ohio driving privileges will be suspended immediately, and you'll have to pay a fee to have those privileges reinstated. If you take a chemical test, you may have an independent chemical test taken at your own expense. Okay. Notice the suspension. Independent of any penalties or sanctions imposed upon you pursuant to any other section or revised code or municipal ordinance, your driver's license or commercial driver's license permit or non-resident operating privilege is now suspended. The suspension takes effect immediately. The suspension will last at least until your initial appearance on the charge, which will be held within five days after the date of this arrest or the issuance of the citation to you. You may appeal the suspension at the initial appearance before the court that hears the charges against you that resulted from the arrest or during a period of time ending 30 days after the initial appearance. Okay, so length of suspension. So if you refuse because you have that prior out of uh, Avon Lake in 2005, if you uh, refuse your automatic ALS suspension is two years, okay, with your one prior, if you blow at .08 or above, it's going to be one year. Okay. So once that machine is ready, it's going to ask want to take the test or not, which time we let you think it over. Okay. Yeah. Just to us. If you want, you can give your wife a call and all that. Just let her know you're back here. We're going to have her come pick you up once we're done with all the
Mr. Kabaki, what's your social security number? Hey, is for uh, West Erie, what was the time of the initial call? Eighteenth. Thank you very much. Yes, sir, 1922. Oh,
Okay, this time, would you like to provide a breast sample? What? Would you like to provide a breast sample for the machine? No. No? Okay. Hey, Elliot. Yep. Just one prior, 2005, rest for physical control. It's asking this number of prior refusals. None. What's the listed time of refusal? the rest of this up in the car. Real quick, so I'm asking you to sign this, not an admission of guilt. This is just stating that I read this back part to you. 
Well, I'm sorry, I'm sure. What is that? So what it's saying is that this is not an admission of guilt. It's just saying that I read this back part to you and then offered you a breath test. I can't compel you to sign it. I can just mark it refused. Yeah, no. Okay. All right, Mr. DeMocke, we're going to go in my car. We're going to finish up some paperwork. Uh, we're going to get you out of here, okay? All right, we're going to get out of here, Mr. DeMocke. You want to come on out? You want your windows down or anything? No, I mean, what, what are we doing? So what's going to happen is I got to finish up some paperwork. I got to issue your citation for the OVI and the OVI refusal. Then we're going to release you to your wife, or whoever can come get you. What do you mean, OVI? So, I was ordered to perform an investigation, okay, based on the totality of the circumstances. Based on my investigation, I determine you're operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, okay? You can do whatever you want and fight it, I understand. It's just, I ought to investigate the matter. They wanted me to be the one to investigate it, and that was what my investigation determined, okay? I got you. Well, I'm not, I'm not taking you to county or nothing. It's just I got to get you your paperwork. I got to have someone come pick you up, or I could take you home if your your wife or any family's there. No. I don't want to take you home in a squad car, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I get you. Yeah. I ain't trying to jam you up anymore. And, you, know, I, you know. And you keep keep making calls back here, whatever you need to do, okay? Yeah. Do you have an insurance card on your phone or anything like that? I got you. I, we have your wife looking for it. I just don't want to mark no on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I believe you have it. I got you. Yeah. You need the windows down or anything like that? No. Okay.